Hi guys. Three Not Opened is the next pattern, which is an absolutely fascinating pattern. Um, Mimi has done a video on it, so check her video out. Um, come on. This one is inspired by Sandra Strait's Trifoil and Tissue by Thomas Padros. So it was inspired by a couple of different patterns. Um, just look at that sample. How awesome is that? That's so cool. Um, so the first thing we do is we're going to draw sort of a triangle, but you do it with um, curves so that they're like this way, this way, and this way. Okay, and then from that triangle, we're going to make, give us this nice space and we're going to aura that, but kind of when you get to the end, kind of make a more organic end out of it. Okay. And then we're going to connect this one, like this was coming out here and down and under there. So don't draw that right there, that little green bit. See that little green bit? Don't draw that. That's just a, um, a guide to, you're going to connect here as if it connected there. It goes under behind that one. Okay. The same thing here, and the same thing here. So we're going to have like a trefoil shape, right? Then you're going to fill that in with black. And then right here, you're going to do another little shape. So it's like this arm comes out and, and connects right there. This one comes out. This one comes out and connects to that like that. So we end up with this sort of a shape here. Does that make sense? So these little organic bits can come different shapes. And then variations on that, you can um, do the trefoil and then actually draw that, that branch. So when you color it in, it's more um, strong instead of that soft. This is very, very interesting. And I noticed that that, you know, this makes a triangle. Let me, let me bring this bigger. This kind of makes a triangle here. And then there's a triangle there, but you notice that that triangle is not going the same direction. It's going the opposite. So when I'm making my plan, I'm thinking ahead that I might in pencil decide where I want this triangle and then decide where I want the center of this triangle to be when I'm making my plan. Cause I kind of see in this sample, I sort of see the letter T right here. And that's kind of what I want in my, um, in my page so that I can get a letter T. Cause I was trying to figure out how in the world am I going to get a letter T kind of want it in the negative space. So let's turn on the light. And I'm just going to play with my pencil, just a snidge, and decide, let's make a, let's make a letter T, like here. Maybe taller. Maybe taller. So I've got a letter T and let's say I want a triangle here and I want a triangle here in general and then maybe one here 
in here. Maybe a little one here. That's going to get too close to the edge. Maybe here. and my T will still be in there. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud and you guys may or may not like the way I think or figure out what I'm, what the heck is she doing? I think that might work. I'm not 100% sure it's going to work, but I think something like that's going to work. So I want my first triangle to be this way. So I'll want my first triangle kind of in here. Not there. Like that. That's where I want to start. Seems really weird to plan something out in that shape, but I think, I think that's what I want. I may even plan this whole thing out in pencil. I don't know. Let's just start with one at a time and see what happens. I'm going to start with this one. And I may just plan this out in pencil. Which I don't usually plan the whole thing out in pencil, but I think I might. Let's get it to that point.
right? Is that right? You don't think so. Oh yeah. This comes out and connects over here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to start with that and leave it at that. I'm not too sure where I want things to connect up yet, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so let's do that over here. Just going to leave them loose like that for the moment. So far, so good. It's really weird, though. But I think it's going to do what I want. But I'm not 100% sure.
think I'm making those long enough. Definitely looks looks like some sort of cardiac thing. But I don't think I'm making my triangular arms long enough. Oh, that's going to bump into that one. It's okay. I think I want to scooch this over a little. Definitely something I can just do without thinking about it, which is cool. Now, I'm going to erase my pencils. Let me zoom back out. Do I see my T? Kind of. Question is, do I want another one here? I think I might. Not sure where I want that to end to go yet. Boy, it's going to be well hidden, that T. I am going to color in the middles first. I need my brush pen. Where's my brush pen? Oh, nope, that's not it. Oh man, it's getting hot in here. The heat has arrived. This 
brush pen is coming apart too. All the brush pens I've ever had have come kind of apart. They don't stand the test of time, which is annoying. I'll just go with a fatter pen. I'm just going to start with coloring in the middle of the triangles first and then decide which direction I want those end pieces to go. If I put a nice fat line, then I can come back with my brush pen and feel a little more confident where I can put that pen without making a mess out of my thing. And we'll just see what happens. Really have no idea how this one's going to come out. Really don't. If I just did one, like one sample, it would have come out fine. But putting multiples on a page, I don't. I really don't know how I'm going to get them connected or not connected, and just yeah, I don't want them to look weird. But I think that's too late. <laughs> I think it's too late for not looking weird. watching um, Bailey J the other day she was talking about how she really is no longer enjoying making art YouTube videos and I think that really part of it when one of the things she said was you know when it becomes your income and no longer just a hobby or something you do on the side but that it becomes your full-time job Sometimes you just lose the passion for it. And I truly believe that Well, when people say, well, why don't you do such and such? You know, you should, you should make a book. You should, uh, you know, draw for a living. Often I will get that as in various forms um, that I should do art for a living. And as fun as that sounds, I think once I create an artwork as not for my own enjoyment at my own pace but as a required thing um, I think I'll stop enjoying it and I won't want to do it and because of that I've never really pursued doing art as a living and I don't think I'll ever want to even Jazza said that the other day um, you know like he he has started showing um, these Warhammer figurines that he is painting for his himself his own hobby um, because he finds that drawing for fun is no longer something that he wants to do because he draws on his channel for a living. And I really don't want to get to that point. 
I don't want to get to the point where drawing for fun is no longer fun. I hope that makes sense. Let me fill those in with, uh, maybe use the brush pen. And so I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to get to that point of burnout, to that point of, of not wanting to do this um, for fun. And one of the reasons why I changed to um, going down from seven videos a week to three is just I just was no longer having fun. It was becoming stressful. And that's not the point. And I am not here to make a living on my YouTube channel. Um, if I get some income from it, awesome. That would be wonderful. Um, but if I don't, I don't. You know, I'm not going to stress over it. Um, so many YouTubers really... Have you noticed they really stress, like, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that stuff on their channel. And I don't um, begrudge them for that. But you'll notice that I don't do that. And I really don't even talk about it very often. Um, also for the same reason. Because I'm not using YouTube as my source of income. I'm not saying anything bad against those who do because I think it's a viable income and it can be very lucrative. The people who have, you know, upwards of a million viewers are making a good living. They really are. They might not be, you know, up there with the Shane Dawson's of the world or the you know, beauty gurus, but, um, you know, they're making a decent wage. I'm not. Mainly because a lot of it is my own choice. I don't overly monetize my channel. I could, but I don't. I do go into the the settings and make sure that I don't allow um, advertisers that go against my personal um, belief system. So there are some types of advertising that are done on other channels that I would not want as an advertiser on mine so I choose to block them which means I limit my income and I'm okay with that. I make just enough on my YouTube channel to buy more art supplies. It's really all I, it's, it's not an income. It's a, it's a hobby and that's okay with me. So I'm not going to bombard you guys with like and subscribe and all of that. Well, I must say, YouTube has done a really good job of changing their analytics to make it more interesting to see some of the, um, the specifics about everybody's or your individual channel. So like I now know when you guys are mostly watching and I find it interesting that you guys are mostly watching during the time that I already chose long ago at what time I want to upload my videos. Um, that was just natively, I said, well, when, when do you think I should do that? And I, I kind of looked at my friends in various countries and I thought, you know, if I do it at this time, which is right around seven, eight in the morning. I'm, I'm not very consistent in making sure that the time is exactly right. I just scroll until I get to about that point. And if it says 8.15, 8.30, 9 o'clock, 7.30, somewhere in that morning 
time for me, um, I click on it. I don't make it exactly the same time every time. So if, if that bugs you, sorry. Um, if you're sitting there waiting for my content to upload, sorry. But I put it somewhere in the morning time for me, which puts it mostly in the awake hours for you guys. I try not to upload so that it shows up in the middle of the night. Um, but if it did, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You just watch it when you get up, right? Now, I need that little extra bit. It needs to kind of come back on itself. It goes there to there. Okay. So now I need to figure out where these things go. So if this is that arm, do something right. I think this needs to connect to this. I think. I think that's where it needs to go. It goes back on itself like that. But I also see um, on the analytics, I see how many of you guys are subscribed and I see how many of the subscribers or how many of you guys who watch are not subscribed. Why am I getting ink everywhere? What am I touching? I'm getting blotches. You see that? These blobs, I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, look. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm. That doesn't usually happen. That must be the that must be the uh the ink from the brush pen. Because that doesn't usually happen. I don't usually get blobs of ink on the back side of my Alrighty then. I want to fill this part in. I want to fill this part in. I want to connect this with that. I'm going to fill that one in. I'm going to connect this here. You're probably wondering why I'm just scribbling like that. I want to come back with my bigger pen, but I want to remember where where I was at. This one I still have pencil. I want pencil. Get rid of the pencil marks. Um, some of them are small enough to color in with this little pen, but I really don't like coloring in with the small one. I'd rather color in with a larger, larger nib. Hmm. 
So what was I saying? YouTube algorithm. Fascinating subject. But oh, Bailey and 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 Jazza and others have said, you know, it's tough. It's tough to to take what you love and then end up burnt out on the thing that you really love, that's your passion. And I don't want, I really don't want that to happen. Really don't want that to happen. So, you know, I'm going to upload when I want. If I, if it starts to get too much for me, then I will, I will do something else. I don't I don't want to rely on YouTube as an income source unless I had to you know if I was laid off and I would push YouTube hard but and they were also saying that 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 for some reason making art videos is not profitable as making like vlog videos or more crazy weird out there videos and I just I'm not that kind of person to turn the camera on myself and just be crazy weird and out there just not me so You know, I'll never be a ginormous YouTuber, but I have been blessed with a bunch of you guys following me, which is awesome. Still, I, I started this channel just to learn patterns and to... Um, figure out, you know, people were saying, well, I don't know how to do this one. And, and uh, well, I don't know how to do it either. Let's, let's learn together. Let's, let's figure it out. And that's, that's where I started. And that's still kind of continuing to be where I'm at. You know, let's, let's learn this together. I, I don't know. I've never done this pattern here before. And it may or may not turn out interesting. I don't know. We're just going to do it together. I am learning some things about trolls and and how to deal with them. Very fascinating. The last few that I've had that were been really, you know, Um, not hurtful, because I've never had anybody say a hurtful thing to me. And I think part of that is um, that I don't put my face out there. I, that That's on purpose, guys. I've had some people, why don't you show what you look like? You know, it's, it's, it's on purpose. Um, as soon as you put your face on the internet, then people immediately want to comment on your size, shape, color of your skin, color of your hair, clothes that you're wearing. I mean, they've got opinions and it's not necessary. I don't need that in my life. So it's on purpose that I don't show my face. But I've had recently several comments like, you know, this was boring, I didn't like it, uh, you talk too much, you, you know, all these things that, you know, you're going to get if you put yourself out there on the internet. And I just, I say something back like, you know, I guess watching my videos is not for you. That's okay. It doesn't have to be. And um, have a nice day and... Have a blessed, blessed day, 
And uh, you know what? They don't seem to want to hear that, and they almost immediately take down their comment as soon as I answer. Um, they want me to engage in a fight. You know, they want me to say, oh, I'm... They want me to apologize for... Or try to defend myself. I don't do that, is it? I guess it's not for you. Have a nice day. This is really cool. I've kind of lost my tea. Don't remember which way was up to start with. Yeah, I've definitely lost the tea. I think it was this way. I think my tea is in here. I think it's here. That's my tea, right? It's in there. I know it's in there, and you know it's in there. I'm really annoyed with this that's happened. I don't think I can get that off. Maybe if I use my other eraser that's stronger. Oh, maybe. Oh, yes, maybe I can get those bits off that I don't like. Okay, now let's do a little shading and make this really come to life. I'm almost done. You guys are stuck with me yammering on about nothing. Ah, uh, this one. So just put a little bit of pencil where they overlap, right? These are sort of Celtic knot-like, sort of. I think I'd like to look up those patterns that um, it says that it was inspired by, just to see how they're constructed. Feels like it needs to go somewhere else here. Like it didn't really resolve itself. Like that, maybe? Just looked funky. Okay. Let's blend those out. See if there's any other thing it needs after you do that. Might have used too dark of a pencil for this part, but I can always erase if I don't think I like what's come out. I don't know. Kind of weird. Interesting. But kind of weird. Not sure that it's my favorite. I thought I was going to really like it. And I'm not feeling it. But, you know, 
I don't have to feel them all. And maybe after I'm all done here and I look up into the camera, which I haven't done yet, I might think it's better than I think. Like I said, I'm not really feeling it, but that... Sometimes it's like, wow, I really like that. And you can hear it in my voice. You probably can hear this one in my voice too. Not necessarily one I'm feeling super excited over, but... I just, I just, I don't know. I just, um, I'm not, not overly. I feel like I want to make some just random other shapes to kind of. fill some of these gaps. I might be completely messing this up now. You know what? I'm just going to go with my gut. Do what I feel like it needs, and it might be completely wrong. No, I like that better. Needs one more in here. What's it called? Starts with a T. Three not opened. Need a smaller pen. Three not opened. All right, that's what it is. I, I, I'm ambivalent about it. You guys tell me in the comments below if you like it or if you think it's just too weird. I've lost my tea. I know it's there. It started in there. I know it's in there, but I kind of lost it. That's okay. I, I know it. It's there somewhere. All right. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Uh, last one is for the uh, alphabet challenge is up and down two. But I'm not going to draw it today. I think I'm done for today. You guys have a great afternoon. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.